All right, we are back live here in Brooklyn, New York. Alexander Hernandez, Donald Cowboy Cerrone have entered the octagon. Here's your tail of the tape. Hernandez, 26. Cowboy, 35. You see some of the numbers. Cerrone, the bigger man. Both fighters making weight. Cerrone will have a one-inch reach advantage. All right, now, for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a Muay Thai kickboxer holding a professional record. 34 wins, 11 losses, one no contest. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 156 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, by way of Denver, Colorado, And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record. Ten wins, one loss. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 and one half pounds. Fighting out of San Antonio, Texas, Alexander the Great Hernandez. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Todd Anderson. Todd Anderson, our referee. Vanessa Hansen getting us started for round one. This fight strategically placed in this featured prelim slot on ESPN. This fight could easily headline a UFC fight night. Donald Cowboy Cerrone and Alexander Hernandez. This fight clock is brought to you by Modelo. Hernandez is in white. Cerrone is in blue. Big early land from Hernandez. Cowboy took that, that left hand really good. Our right hand, sorry. Took it really good. Let's see. Oh, oh another big another big strike by Hernandez. He hurt him. Hernandez, an absolute workhorse. He can keep this pace up for 15 minutes. Slip there. Cerrone changes levels and gets Hernandez down. That's one thing that people underestimate. For as good of a striker as Donald is, he does have the ability to change levels and go and get a takedown. 17 career wins by submission for Cerrone. Gets another takedown, and that one of the high amplitude variety. And trying to control Hernandez. Hernandez is doing a really good job of stuffing the head before Cowboy can get him, get him settled. And you see some swelling around that right eye already of Cowboy Cerrone. One minute gone by here, round one. No surprise, a partisan cowboy crowd as Hernandez lands the knee to the back of the left leg. Hernandez said he wanted to just disrespect Cerrone at every turn in the fight. Every time they saw each other, it would be an altercation that would lead to tonight, and he's starting the fight in that way. Just really going after Cerrone, not allowing him to build into the fight. Hernandez switching up the stances here. Right hand lands flush for Cerrone. Hernandez continuing to cry, try to close the distance. Cerrone missed. A lot of forward pressure by Hernandez. The shorter fighter, when you got a shorter fighter, you want him fighting in this way. Trying to get inside, close the distance, and control the engagements. You stand on the outside of Cerrone, he will put combinations together that you may have never seen before. Hernandez goes to the body. Cerrone retreats. Right hand for Hernandez and a nice counter by Donald. Oh, that might have been Cerrone's most significant strike thus far. Beautiful body kick now from Alexander the Great. What a pace here through two and a half minutes, man. And you've seen Hernandez keep this pace. He sets this really high pace with the hope that his opponent can't keep up. And we've seen him do it. We've seen a lot of fighters try to attack Cerrone to the body, some successfully. Hernandez now dealing with a cut underneath that right eye. Oh. oh. Head kick from Cerrone didn't appear to bother Hernandez. It certainly landed. That's what Hernandez has to be careful, right? 
when the punches start to land for Cerrone, you oh. think punches are coming, and then he follows with kicks. And now Hernandez a little bit busted open. Oh, big right from Cerrone. It was that knee, John, that knee to the body, landed first. Really made Hernandez pause a little bit. We, we are going to learn a lot about Alexander Hernandez in this fight because now he's dealing with a little bit of adversity. He's getting hit. He's starting to, he's got a cut. Let's see how a young fighter responds to this type of adversity, something he's never seen before. At times in the past, Cerrone at lightweight has really been challenged by the weight cut. Not so this week as he lands a furious combination. He's starting to really find his range here. And that is not good for Alexander Hernandez. Hernandez needs to mix it up. He needs to change something here. This is good. This is a good start. Oh, well, not so good. Oh, Cerrone with he's a left hand. He's lit up right now, John. And every time Hernandez enters, he's, laid, he's eating that right knee, man. He is eating that right knee on the entry, John. That's what's killing him. Look, again. Head strikes. Cerrone doubling up on the 11th ranked Alexander Hernandez, less than 30 seconds now to go in a round that has had it all. Cerrone really starting to settle in late. Cerrone sees that he found a home for that, so he's throwing it every time. Hernandez is a little bit more hesitant to just dart in because of those knees he's taking. Hernandez gets the guard up. Amazing first round, round two after this. Hey, hey, sit, sit down. Sit down, hey. You cannot stay there. Do you understand me? Give me some water. Breathe a little bit for me, Alex. Listen, I need to get in and out. Don't press too much. Make him come to you. He's just trying to set up that right hand. Stay to the outside of his lead leg. Do you understand? When you exit, you need to keep your hands up, and that's the only time he's really getting the better of you. When you're standing in front, you're fine. When you're exiting out, that's when we got to be on be, uh, of the most alert. How are you feeling? Good. Are you all there? Yeah. Okay. I need you to press him up against the fence a little bit and wear him out. Do you understand? You're letting him run too much. Get unrivaled UFC access with ESPN Plus, including exclusive content and live events throughout the year. Start your free trial today by downloading the ESPN app or visiting ESPNplus.com. And we will call on Trevor Whitman here once again. Trevor, a tale of two corners there after round one. You know, I uh, listened to Jason in uh, Alexander's corner, and he was saying, don't go backwards. Yeah, that's not a good thing. He was saying, put your hands up. But you got to angle on the way back because he's running you back and driving punches through you. There was also a lot of things said there. I don't know how much Alexander was really able to take in. Right. He did mention, push him up against the cage, though. And this is what Alexander's doing at the moment. You know, Trevor, that, that's actually a great point, right? At what point are you overwhelming your fighter as opposed to helping him with the information? Great One, pickup, Trevor. 100%. And there's another thing, too. He's like, hey, are you all there? And you're asking him all these different things that are going from one philosophy to the next philosophy. Keep it simple. Yeah. You give him a basic game plan and let him know he can win this fight. And again, you're dealing with a fighter that has not experienced this before. So if you're panicking, imagine what he's feeling as the young fighter. You got to be careful doing that. And you can't overstate the experience advantage. 30th UFC fight for Cerrone, just the third for the minus 205 favorite, Alexander Hernandez, who's on the retreat again. He's got he a big left, now a right. Cowboy should finish with the kick now. Now that he's finding his place with the hands, he's got to finish with the kick. Hernandez may not see it. That left eye is really starting to swell a lot. Hernandez thought about a level change there. Three and a half minutes to go in round two. Again, that right knee. Oh. Right back to the body kick goes Cerrone. Appeared to touch the cut there. Hernandez doesn't protest. 
Now Hernandez with some body shots of his own. Cerrone returned to lightweight because he wanted to chase a championship motivated by his six-month-old son, Danger. And what an effort thus far out of the veteran against the number 11 ranked lightweight in the world. Cerrone's corner wants a body kick whenever Hernandez goes southpaw. Nice right hand over the top from Alexander Hernandez. Oh. Couple knees from Cerrone. And Joe Schilling in the corner of Cerrone imploring him to move forward. He wants just more pressure on Hernandez. He can see that Hernandez does not like being the guy going backwards. But Alexander's doing some decent work here, too. He's listening to his corner. Oh, he took a big elbow. Oh. Cerrone has been the more active party here. Hernandez slightly more efficient. Nice stick by Cerrone yet again. But Hernandez at pace his wane. This is as much adversity as we have seen him face in any fight in his career. Cerrone just mixing it up beautifully here on the feet. We've seen for years when you're forced into a pure stand-up battle with Donald Cerrone, not many guys, look oh, at that. Not many guys win, but there it is. Hernandez down. That's that kick, John, we were calling for. Cowboy looking to close the show. Hernandez is tough, though. Oh, oh he's getting beat huge up. right hands on the ground. Hernandez nearly oh. out, that's it. Donald Cowboy Cerrone. Whoa. Whoa. That's how you turn back the clock with a new weight class. You go back down and reintroduce yourself by knocking off a guy like Alexander Hernandez. We've been saying if he throws that kick, it's going to find itself, threw it on the bad eye side, and it landed. What a job by Cerrone. His future is in the UFC Hall of Fame, but his present, very relevant as well. He will have a number next to his name now in the lightweight division next week. Hard to overstate how big a win that is in a career that has had now 35 of them for Donald Cerrone. Yeah, with so many knees, 